Hey, welcome back to uh, session two. Uh, session one, we spent some time teaching you how to warm up and also how to uh, warm up your arms. Uh, we talked about um, your body temperature raising one degree before you started throwing. You warm up the throw, you don't throw to warm up. Take care of your body. Also, we talked about the purpose of what we're doing. Why we do this is for God's glory because He's given us gifts, given gifts to us to give back to Him. So this is a, a, another time to get together, to worship together greatness of God and what he's given to us uh, for his glory we, we want to share that with you so in this session we want to spend time throwing and receiving we spent a little time warming up but we want to break down the throwing process in this session so Preston, get down on one knee for me and let's face this direction one knee drill facing this way here there you go I'm sorry get your foot out all right so put your hands together hands together all right so when you throw I want you to break your hands out of the bottom of your glove, all right? Put your thumbs together, okay, and then bring your elbows up. So it's thumbs together, break the egg out of the bottom of your glove, elbows up. Okay, then I want you to turn this glove over, turn it towards you and stabilize it. Don't point the glove at the target. Don't stiffen it out. Keep it bent, stabilize it over the front foot. Okay, so he's going to firm it up right here. Now as he throws, the elbow is going to stay a, a hit above the shoulder. He's going to stabilize the glove here. Hands coming forward. His chest is going to, his knees, his uh, chest is going to go over his front knee and he's going to finish right there. All right, so stabilize that glove, Hudson. One more time. All right, one knee drill. Break the ball out of the bottom of your glove. Thumbs together, elbows up. All right, go again. Okay, one of the things that Hudson's had trouble with over time, he's had a few elbow problems. And one of the reasons he has that is because he's, he's hand dominant. When he breaks his hands, he has a tendency to bring his hands straight up. All right? So what I want him to do is when he breaks his hands out of the bottom of his glove, is to bring his elbow up and then his hand up. That takes the tension off that elbow. Okay? So this time, Hudson, let's do it. Toss it to me really. All right, ready? Slow motion. Thumbs together. Break your hands, thumbs together, elbows up, gloves stabilized, toss. Nice, one more time. Do it full speed, easy. Nice, okay? So his hand's gonna be, uh, when it faces away from him, his hand's gonna be in a C position, it's gonna be facing away from him, like an alligator, he wants the ball away from him. This, this place, so he doesn't want his, his elbow, his hand under the ball. He wants it on top of the baseball at all times as he's delivered. W wants to stabilize that glove. He wants to firm it up. And then he's going to deliver the baseball. Okay? A couple things about control. All right, stand up. Stand up, Drew. All right, put that foot out. All right, good. Put your hands together. All right, a couple things about control. After he breaks his hands, Elbows come up, and he gets in what we would call a goal post position, hand on top of the ball, glove is stabilized. Okay, as he's coming forward, he wants to stabilize the, the glove, he wants to keep the chest up, turn that back foot over. All right, get out there a little bit, get your head up. Good. See where your glove is? I want it over that front foot, stabilize the glove. Anytime the ball goes high or low, it's caused by placement of the glove. Okay? Anything that goes from right to left is caused by his head being off target. So two things you can do for control is fix your glove, fix your head. Okay? Turn around this way, Hudson, toss me a couple. From the stand-up drill. Drill progression is knee drill, double knee drill, stand up. So this is the time that you're gonna do a rocker drill. Step out there. A little bit further. Alright, so you're gonna rock forward, rock back, break your hands and deliver the ball. Nice, good job. Good job. Okay, if you notice the times when we throw, we miss the target. Perfection is the thing that we would like to do in baseball. We'd like to get it perfect. But baseball is a game of failure, usually coached by negative people in a misinformed environment. That means that most times in baseball, especially at the plate, Players fail. Players that can't deal with failure usually do not become good players. 
So that's one of the things coaches and parents that you can teach is, hey, perfection. At the same time is we are not perfect, per perfect. So as Hudson's trying to hit the target every time, Hudson is as good a player as he is, he still misses the mark. In the uh, spiritual sense, that would be called sin. Anytime we miss the target, no matter how hard we try, how hard, how hard we practice, how much money we spend on lessons, we still miss. We still don't get it right. And it's still sin. But we're so grateful uh, because of what God did for us of giving His Son that our sins are covered. Our sins are covered. All right. So the next thing I want you to do, Hudson, is uh, I want to I want to teach you how to receive the ball, how to catch it. So take the ball, glove out of your, uh, take the glove off your hands and put it on the ground. All right. Get on both knees. Okay, our natural tendency when we use a glove is to turn it this direction here. But what, watch what happens when Hudson uses his hands to just catch the ball like we're playing catch. You see them naturally do what God allows us to do with them. He puts them side by side, allows the ball to come in here. Normally, if we put the glove on, we would be like this. The reason we want our hands side by side is because we have the ability to get out in a hurry. So you got to make sure the glove is open where the ball can get in. But you want your hands side by side. So one more time. That's nice. Nice. All right, good. All right? So what do we do to adjust? Sometimes we miss the mark. We're not perfect. So if I throw a ball low to Hudson, Hudson's going to put his pinkies together and catch it. You try. Nice. So I'm catching it right here. Pinkies together. One more time. Good. All right, what happens when the ball's above the waist? Above the waist, he's gonna make an adjustment with his hands. He's still gonna put his thumbs together. Put his thumbs together and catch it. Good. Good. All right, the reason we use two hands is to transfer the ball from the glove hand to the throwing hand, not just to catch it. You can catch the ball with one hand, but you gotta transfer it usually to your throwing hand. Let's put your glove on. All right. So we're talking about receiving well. Uh, a lot of times kids, parents, adults, coaches don't understand receiving well. Uh, we're given gifts from above. Uh, you remember when uh, the Israelites from the Red Sea, that God gave them manna from above. Okay? We receive the sun every day. Well, in Baton Rouge, maybe not every day, but most days. So my question to us is how do we receive this gift? So I think you can teach receiving through, through catching a baseball. All right, so Hudson, I want you to put your glove up. Yeah, I want you to receive just like you did with your hands. Most kids will transfer and go back to putting their glove like this and like this, rather than using their hands together. All right, I'm going to throw it at your waist first. All right, you turned your glove over. All right, I want you to shake hands with the ball. Shake hands with the ball. Nice. Nice. you got to open it up. Let it come in. Open it up. There you go. Nice. Perfect. There you go. Nice. All right, I'm going to throw one down low. Pinkies together. Open your glove up, but keep your hands together. Nice. Nice. All right. One above the waist. One above the waist. Turn your thumbs together. All right, you turned your glove too much open. i got to go in there and get it like this, Hudson. Get your thumbs together and open your glove up. That's good. Nice. Nice. All right, I want you to stand up. Okay, right now we're going to teach Hudson how to transfer the ball from his glove to his throwing hand. Okay? And we teach that spiritually by uh, Jesus on the cross transferred our sins to himself. Transfer. It's one of the biggest concepts there are in Christianity of taking, transferring our sins to Jesus on that cross. So right now he's going to transfer that ball from his glove to his throwing hand. That helps him remember what Jesus did for us as he's transferring the ball. All right? So Hudson, when you transfer, I want you to catch the ball, then I want you to take a quarter turn and an easy throw. Let me see you do it. Play like, here comes the ball. Receive it well. Good. Good. And then you're going to toss it to me. Okay? Nice. All right, give me a target. Always give me a target. I always want to focus on what I'm trying to do, where I'm trying to throw it to, okay? Give me a target to throw it to. I'm always going to try to be perfect, 
and you knowing that I'm not going to be perfect, you're going to make adjustments to catch the ball. Okay? All right, just transfer it and toss it back easy. Easy. Nice. Nice. Good job. All right, good job putting your hands together. All right, I'm going to throw one over here to your left this time. That's all right, I'm going to step over there and get it. Nice. All right, you notice that Hudson didn't do this as he was tripping over the cone, that he didn't reach out. You saw him move him whole, his whole self to get in front of the ball. He wasn't lazy. He wasn't lazy. I'm going to throw one to the other side, Hudson. Nice. Nice. Hey, let's think about what God did for us. Think about what God does for us. He takes our my bad throws that I meant to go on the target, but he takes those because of who he is and his great love for me, and he gets it right. His grace and mercy is sufficient for us. Okay, so in review, in review, throwing, three drills, knee drill, double knee drill, stand up drill. We talked about arm action. We talked about uh, breaking the hands out of the bottom of the glove. We talked about the elbows coming up. Uh, we talked about stabilizing our glove over our front foot. We talked about going to the target. We talked about uh, keys to um, uh, control. Head controls side to side. Glove controls up and down. Receiving, we talked about receive well. Receive the gifts that God has given to you well. Expect it to come your way. Use two hands. Don't use one hand. Use two hands. Thumbs together, ball above, pinkies together, below. Okay? Let me pray for us. Lord, uh, we love you. Lord, thank you for an opportunity once again to use baseball to uh, demonstrate your great love for us and that you, uh, you care about the game that you've given to us. Lord, forgive us when we use it uh, for idolatry, for ourselves, for our own self-glory. Lord, help us to use it for your glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.